Yeah, you know, you make these movies by, you know, in a, in a building with a bunch of your friends and, and we want the rest Isolated. of the world to react yeah. to it. So we want it. We want to hear those reactions. Yeah, it's great. And you guys are some of the first to ever see it in 3D. We saw it for the first time all together in 3D last week. You know, it's very, it's very, it's very, very fresh. So. You just waiting? Sure. How are you? Good. Very good. Nice seeing you. Do you like doing junkets or not? Really? Well, actually, oh, yeah. we, we love this. It's, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. We love okay, what are you guys doing directing such a huge movie? You look like two kids. Uh, what's <laughs> going on here? Well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, that's nice of you to say. Yeah, we're old on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, you know, Byron and I, we've been at the studio for actually for 15 years. We started when we were five years old. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we have such passion for Disney and for Disney animation. Um, when we found out we would be directing the 50th animated feature, that blows our mind. It's it's really like we we eat, breathe, and live uh, these things, and uh, we love Disney. That's why we're here. Yeah. And uh, how do you guys work together? Who is more stubborn, or who gets his <laughs> way? Around? I think we're both pretty stubborn. You know, the nice thing is that Nathan and I are on the same page a lot. Like we have very similar tastes as far as what we want from the movie. You know, we both want this to be a movie for everyone. We want this to make people laugh make them cry, and we want them to go away from this uh, movie feeling like, I went to a different world, and I got lost in this character story, and I want to go back, and I want to see these characters again. And so we try to make movies that fulfill all of that. Doing, I mean, uh, this film is a huge effort, I'm sure, many years, and uh, how many people does it take? Well, I mean, a it's a big, yeah. no? It's it a, is. To make a, a movie of this scale, there's there are hundreds and hundreds of people. I. I I don't, do you know the count? I, you know, I'd say we have a crew of about 500 people, and it takes years. You know, the, the, this, this story has been at the studio for about 50 years, since the 19, 50, 60 years, since the 1940s. And it was on a list back then when Walt was making a list of which movies to do. And it, this one kept getting pushed aside because it was just about a girl in a room. And so when we first got the movie, we said, well, we have to get her out of that room. So she, she's got a lot of girl power, and she really drives the story. She's a very dynamic character. Also, it's a classical story, but it's very contemporary in a way, True. with the different characters. Right. Right. How did you accomplish that, and if that, that was something that you really wanted to do? Well, sure. Uh, well, being the, the 50th animated feature, uh, that means there were 49 movies that have come before it. So what we wanted to do, and we love those movies. We love the 49 films before it. Um, but we wanted to do uh, something really fresh and different. Mm -hmm. We love our roots, we love our legacy. Um, at the same time, we're moving forward with this movie. Uh, so so this, it's, this movie is so huge, it's, it's this big roller coaster of a film. There's, it, you know, it's hilarious, uh, it has so much heart, and, and so many twists and turns that you don't see coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so instead of a, a prince, we, we went with a thief. Instead of a, a, you know, a noble steed, we went with this super cop of a horse, like this crazy, Maximus, our horse, is unlike anything audiences have ever seen. And we like to think the whole movie, actually, is unlike anything audiences have ever seen. It'll really, it, it's really going to surprise people. Uh, do you think, uh, okay, how, how did you balance the dramatic aspects of the story and the comedy and the musical with the technology? I mean, the technology is there, but you're not always a member of the technology. That's true. You're just going to the story and how does one accomplish that? That's true. Well, you're exactly right. I mean, it's, it's all about the story. Like everything that we do, whether it's uh, what the colors are in, in the scene, how it's photographed, what the camera movement is, how we use the 3D, it all has to come back to the story. It has to enhance that story that we're telling and it has to either make it, make it funnier, make the emotion deeper, and it should just really bring you in and make you feel like uh, a world that you're stepping into. So, how many arguments did you, did you guys <laughs> all the time have for deciding maximum will be like this or you know, uh, <laughs> there we I, you know honestly there's there's quite a few uh, I wouldn't call them arguments but I'd say there's quite a few there's heated conversations because we have such passion. The, Sorry, there's a oh. train, right? Turn on. Yeah. Great. Cool. Sorry. Sorry. No, we can use that. Oh, you can. No, there's, <laughs> there's a little passion. There's, there's, there's a train. There's a train yeah. going. We by. argue about the train all the time. <laughs> it's great. It's a big controversy. Red Disneyland. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, we have such passion uh, for these stories and for these characters and and for Tangled. Byron and I, we brought such passion to it, as did our crew. Yeah. So everyone has an idea of how to make the best story. Yeah. Um, so you do. You get into you get into these heated debates. You know, there's a lot of head bumping uh, that happens. But at the end of the day, we have no ego about these films. We just want to tell an amazing story. So the best idea is always going to win, and that, that's how you end up with a great movie. Yep.
uh, it's great to see a strong girl. Like, it's yeah. more real yes. than in other classical animated films. Mm -hmm. uh, can you comment on that? Yeah, I mean, definitely. We wanted Rapunzel to be someone who, like someone you knew. She had to feel real. She couldn't feel like this noble princess. As a matter of fact, she doesn't even know she is a princess. So she had to feel like this this girl that you knew and could believe in, and you have to believe that her heart is is real, yeah? And so, you know, we wanted to make sure that she was the engine that powers the story. So once she gets out into the world, she's really unstoppable. And Flynn is there to provide this great perspective about the world. And it's great to see him change because of what his interactions with her. Uh, a great one, duo. A great duo. One short last question. Sure. Uh, how does the process work? You do the characters first and then background, then color? Or if you can tell us briefly. It's very well, layered, right? Sure. Yeah. Well, it starts with it starts with story. Mm -hmm. it, everything always comes, it starts with story and it always comes back to story. Um, and we storyboard out the movie. The drawing. Room. And yeah, kind of draw out these, you know, almost like a comic strip. Um, and then at that point you lay out your sequences, you kind of figure out your environments and those kinds of things. And at the same time you're creating you're characters. Creating, you're building characters, you're designing them, and then the animators start working with the characters to discover like what they're like. And then you, you start animating the film and then it all goes from there. But you know what happens at some point is you're working on this and then you, then you realize, you know, the story could be better in this way and then you go back to the story and then the characters could be better and you go back. We work on these movies right up to the very end. Yeah. And, and it, we, it's, it's not until they say, it's got to be in a theater next week that we stop making a movie. Yeah. 